Hey guys, what's up? DJ's Aviation. Welcome to another episode of my Aviation News Series. Uh, this audio was recorded around December 5th and 6th, so I'm not too sure when this will be going up, uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. At the time of this recording, I do have a bit of a sore throat and, and a bit ill, uh, so hopefully my voice is still bearable and you guys can still understand me. In today's Aviation News episode, we're going to be talking about the Boom Supersonic Jet, uh, while it's still speculation, we have had some news break through the Japan Airlines camp, uh, so we're just going to pretty much discuss that and give you guys the rundown of what is actually going on. So Denver-based Boom Supersonic have found a valuable new partner in its quest to make supersonic commercial flight a reality. Uh, as the company this week announced a strategic investment from Japan Airlines, uh, specifically JAL, is pitching in $10 million to help Boom develop its Mac 2.2 airliner but the partnership also allows the airline's leadership to offer Boom's visionary decades of industry experience. Uh, we've been working with Japan Airlines behind the scenes for over a year now, said Blake Goal, hopefully I pronounce that right, who's the founder and CEO of Boom Supersonic. Uh, and then he goes on to say, JAL's passionate visionary team offers decades of practical knowledge and wisdom on everything from passenger experience to technical operations. We're thrilled to be working with JAL to develop a reliable, easily maintained aircraft that will provide revolutionary speed to passengers. Our goal is to develop an airliner that will be a great addition to any international airlines fleet. At the Paris Air Show in June of this year, Boom announced 76 firm aircraft orders and this partnership gives JAL the opportunity to pre-order up to 20 aircraft. We are very proud to be working with Boom on the possible advancement in the commercial aviation industry, said the President of Japan Airlines. Uh, through this partnership, we hope to continue the future of supersonic travel with the intent of providing more time to our valued passengers while emphasizing flight safety. Boom's supersonic aircraft will offer a maximum range of 5,178 miles for 45 to 55 passengers in a business class setting. Entry into service is still slated for the mid-2020s, however, of course, all of this is subject to change and it is a topic that you see uh, pop up in the news quite often by uh, well, by journalists that um, aren't too knowledgeable on the topic. However, we have had the recent information break out that JAL are interested, of course. Again, this is all subject to change. It might not happen at all. But seeming this news has broken out, I thought I'd still make a video on it and get your thoughts in the comments section below, as we usually do, so we can have a bit of a discussion about it. So what do you guys actually think? Personally, I do think it'd be a good idea. Just similar to the A380 video, which I recorded two weeks back, um, I personally thought that... Uh, Maybe it came out in the wrong time, with quad jets being popular quite a while back with the 747s. We were moving more into the 787 and A380 stages of aviation and aircraft as a whole. Um, so maybe it's similar with the Concorde. It just came out in the wrong generation, in the wrong year, I guess. Um, and now we're looking in the mid-2020s for that sort of thing to come back into the scene. Um, I'd be excited to see it, of course, come out. I think it'd be a massive change, as we've already seen the A380 and 787 changing uh, the aviation industry rapidly. I just feel like this uh, Boom Supersonic could change it even more. So if you guys enjoyed this quick video, um, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Apologies again with my voice. Um, I'm just a bit ill. So nevertheless, I thought I'd still make the video for you all. I'll see you in the next one and peace.